Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be vlogging for you guys and it's just going to be a really casual at home vlog. We actually have company coming from Ohio to stay with us for the week so Larry and I are going to film a video. He's getting ready and then we're going to film a Q&A which you guys will be seeing soon. I'm not sure if this will go up or that will go up first. I'm not sure yet. But I am going to show you guys some Easter decorations. We're going to pull some of that out and decorate for Easter and spring. And so I have the tripod ring light thingy out already. So Larry and I are almost ready to film. Little update on this room. Uh, most of it is gone. Some stuff will be moved here shortly. And then, um, oh, this little pillow. So this is from Kohl's. I just purchased it a couple of days ago. So on this side, it has all these pom-poms, like spring-colored pom-poms. And then on this side, you have three little bunnies with cotton tails. And I just thought it was so cute. Originally, this was $35.99, but I paid $14.99 for it. That's the good thing about Kohl's is their stuff is always on sale. So I thought that was a really cute touch. <laughs> That's so dark. What's happening? Okay, this shirt is supposed to be an off the shoulder, but every time I raise my arms, it like flings right back up. <laughs> it doesn't work. Why, why is the light not high? Um, so yes, this is the guest bedroom. We have the mirror of Erised from Harry Potter. If you guys know Harry Potter, I'm sure you do. And then Larry actually made this welcome Jackie and Bob, which I thought was so cute. And then I wanna put a tray down with like little chocolates and lotions and cute stuff here. And then we are currently washing the bedding, so we have to make the bed, but this is the guest bedroom. And then, okay, in here, we have some of our holiday decor. So the Easter stuff is in this corner. Oh, plus this. Oh no! Bunny broke. Look. He's lost his little ears, poor little thing, and this is cracked. Really, I bought it for the eggs because I loved the pastel, like, speckled eggs. Excuse you, what are you doing? Oh my god. And then, let's grab, let's move this dark, creepy treat over here. Okay, we'll grab this. Oh. And then, oh god, stuff falls. Oh, this is a cute little assortment of things and then oh easter egg for an easter egg hunt maybe another basket okay so this is the easter egg lexi what are you needy for attention love yeah say hi oh she's so cute We've got the Easter decorations out. We don't actually have much, unfortunately. So we're gonna just kinda take this to the living room and see. Well, what am I gonna do with this? So maybe I'll take the eggs out and just put it in a basket because this whole plastic thing is cracked. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. <gasps> maybe I'll put it in him. Yeah, okay, okay, all right. Let's go do this, guys. Let's do it. Okay, so we're just really quick. We're gonna make this bed together and I'm gonna open these blinds. Let's get some natural, natural light in. Oh, you wanna jump up there? You want me to lift it? Okay, hold on. We do this every time we open the blinds. We open these for her. She loves going up. Hold on, Lexi, hold on. You gotta wait for me. Mama's getting it, hold on. Ready? Watch your nose. There you go. What do you see? What do you see? <gasps> the car. Okay. Fun fact, I filmed my very first video <laughs> in this room. <laughs> it was fun. I'm gonna pop this back in the dryer cause it's not at all dry. Say good morning, babe. Good morning, babe. high that's why I don't understand it's because it got wrapped up in the big comforter that's why they're not dry okay we 
we'll just go back to decorating then for Easter. Which, my top, pretty much Easter vibes. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys our little coffee table. It looks like this. So right now we have this plant on it. And I love this. It's like, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it very well, but it's an opal kind of iridescent ceramic. And then this is not real, but it looks real. And I still have to cut that off. No judgment, guys. <laughs> I have to cut that off. I don't know why, but these remind me of coffee beans so much. Anybody else? That's what it reminds me of. Then we have Miss Lexi Kitty here. And then a gooey marshmallow candle. So... I don't know, should I put this there and then open that and put the eggs in it? Let's see. All right, so let's just kind of, oh, is it even gonna come off? Oh, this is dangerous. So this is super glued to the base, so we're probably not gonna get in here unless we rip the plastic part, which is gonna be, scary okay that wasn't so bad we got it we got it okay we can work with that we'll just pull out all the little eggs maybe we'll dump them out so I don't cut myself on plastic okay it's empty all the eggs are out so we're gonna just put these little eggs in this bunny Well, I'll show you guys. What do you think? Cute? I think it's kind of cute. And here's the leftover eggs. Let me know in the comments below which holiday is your absolute favorite to decorate for. So my favorite seasons or holidays to decorate for is Easter, but that's not my number one, I don't think. And then Halloween and Christmas. So Christmas is probably my favorite, then Halloween, and then Easter slash spring. So those are my faves. All right, we're just gonna take both of these baskets out here. Let's see where we wanna put stuff. So we have these little guys. Maybe we'll put them up here, like there's any room. Well, we'll just, we'll just play it by ear. We'll just set stuff down and then move accordingly. How about the purple one? Hmm. I mean, very Harry Potter up there with a pop of spring colors. I think my dad got me that bunny one year, so I'll pop him up there too. What's this little guy? Oh, another little Easter bunny. Where do I want to put him? He's so sweet. Maybe in the kitchen? Or maybe here. I'll move Lexi's toys back down where they're supposed to go. We had to move all of Lexi's toys because my mom's dog, little Jack, was tearing up all of her little toys. He doesn't just play with toys. He rips them into a million pieces. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this. All you Harry Potter fans are gonna love it. I think eBay, check eBay. It is the Harry Potter little tune box. Is that what you call this, babe? Uh, music box. A wooden Harry Potter wooden music box. Yes. So that brings me back. Okay, we're gonna put Bunny right here, I think. All of this stuff up here was moved out of the Harry Potter room. This is like Dumbledore's office kind of decor, which will be moved once we get the office space ready. So, yeah, I think she looks good there. A little Easter towel. Oh, these. I always put these on the door and then they fall off when somebody spins the handle. So they can't really go up there. So maybe I'll just put it here. I 
I mean, it's tacky, but it's cute. I think I'm gonna put these in the kitchen. I think that's cute. Okay. Oh! This is the first at home vlog since our Cleveland trip. So, welcome to the house, guys. Welcome back. And you guys got to see Lexi for the first time in a while. Uh, I'm, I'm out of room with my hands and I'm holding the camera. I mean, life of a vlogger, right? <sighs> There's only one more egg left. <sighs> I was gonna put this in my mouth, but I can only imagine the comments. Ew! <laughs> okay, oh, I got it. We're just gonna have to. Okay, all right, I got it, I got it. Here we go. We only need something for like right here and then right over here on either corner. I love this basket though, because it's shaped like a heart. Super cute. Maybe I'll put these two here and here. Just balance that a little bit. Okay, what are we thinking? Yeah, yeah, you like it? I like it, I think it's cute. Okay, now these pillows, I'm just decorating for Easter. Lexi, do you like our new pillow? I think it's quite cute. Should I cut this bit off? Babe, do you think I should cut this bit off as close as I can to the seam? Yeah. Yeah, because it just gets in the way. Wow, that's a weird angle. <laughs> I won't make sure I don't like. I'm gonna have to sit to do this. did it. Not a perfect job, but the pillow's not broken. So I just kind of cut those little pieces off. You can see them a little bit, but I didn't want to risk like cutting into the pillow and then having it leak. Having it leak? Having it leak its stuffing. So there's two sides to this pillow. I showed you guys already. We'll see which side looks best. So my mom actually was with me when I got this. She loves this side of the pillow. She is not a fan at all of this side, which I don't understand because I think it's so cute. But, and then we have these pink pillows, which are always here. I almost got a pair of like light purple suede. Actually, the color of my socks. Okay, so we have the bunny side or that side. Oh, I kind of like that. Or maybe I'll switch it daily. Yes, I like that. Nice little pop of color. Throw this away, put these away. Okay, so this is what it's kind of looking like so far. I like it. I think it's cute. These can be moved and washed. So I'll wash those and then I'll put that Easter one up. Towel, tea towel. I'm gonna put it right on this stove. And there we have our little touch of Easter in the kitchen. Ah, I should put something Easter related by the coffee area. I still have fall candles out. There's two seasons where I go overboard on candles and that is the fall candles and the winter candles at Bath and Body Works. Like that's pretty much the only time, I'm not gonna lie, that I buy their candles. Like, let me just, let's do, I have all of my candles in the hall closet. Sorry, that lighting is super weird. So I'm just gonna do a little haul for you guys, little candle haul. I'm pretty sure the majority is fall. Okay, so we have, what if I close the door? Yeah? Then it just looks dark. Oh well. So we have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which is amazing, fall candle. Winter, oh my God, oh my God. Keynotes, orange and fur needle, essential oils of clove, oh my God, yum. Fresh balsam, which I, okay, I briefly burned this one. This one is so good. I have to be careful with this one though because 
Okay, so it's made with pine, cedarwood, eucalyptus essential oils. I have to be careful with this one because it tends to give me a headache and that really sucks because it is my favorite. Right. Okay, leaves. Oh, it's never been burned. Crisp fall morning. That is what this candle is. Crisp fall morning. Essential notes, crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Is it bad that we're doing a fall candle haul, winter candle haul in like the spring? Happy spring, by the way. That just happened recently. Hi, baby. You want to sniff candles? You want to go back in there? Go ahead. Okay. And here we are with that light. This next one is Tis the Season. So good. Keynotes. Red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. You can tell I'm definitely like that winter and fall spice kind of candle gal like those are my favorite oh this one's good mm. fireside love it if you want to smell like a fall crackling fire in your house a safe fire in your house uh you want this candle so maybe next fall or i don't know when this candle comes out i mean fall and winter but i don't know if they keep it out year round but this is smoked cedar clove buds and warm embers oh my god it smells so good and it doesn't smell like some of their like manly candles like that can smell kind of like men's cologne, which I'm not a fan of those smells. I know a lot of people are, but they're really strong for me and they trigger my headaches. So this one doesn't do that. Freaking love it. Okay, so this is not, I think this is the only one back here, or there's two back here that are not winter and fall related. And I got this one last summer, I believe. It's the California Vineyard Black Cherry Merlot. I had a hard time saying that word last year. It smells really good. It is dark cherry, black raspberry, and sumptuous Merlot. Really good. Okay, we have a few more. Vanilla Bean Noel, which I think is appropriate to burn all year round. I think it always smells good. It's almost out. And then this one is Apple Cinnamon Cider, which is good. You know those, like, poopery? Is it poopery? Potpourri? not sure it smells like that like what you would smell at a craft store or a, like a homey store in the winter or the fall that's what this smells like we have spiced apple toady toddy hmm. cinnamon clove i mean it's all pretty much sounding the same at this point vanilla bean noel we already did that one and then we have ooh. We have cinnamon pine cone, and I'm not going to lie, I pretty much got it because of the glass. It's multicolored, beautiful looking when it burns, and this is really good. Cinnamon and pine cone mixed together is a dream, and the keynotes are fresh pine cinnamon bark and cedar juniper. So, that was such a big part of my channel in the beginning, was I loved doing Bath and Body Works candle hauls, like for the spring, or no, for the, no, for the winter and fall. It's like my favorite thing to do. You're the cutest little bean I've ever seen. You know that? I know. You got itchies? <laughs> Meh. Is it grooming time? I mean, does it really get much cuter than that? Oh, it's so cute. So my mom got us this cat and it's not just a cat. So you can decorate it with like little holiday pieces. So I'm gonna decorate her with these ears and this little Easter egg. I guess it's like a bib type thing, but it's for the cat. So shall we do that? <laughs> oh my god, it's just, ow, just too cute. <laughs> oh, hi babe, you're right in between the ears. Look at this. I think it was too cute, so I mean, yes. And then these, we have this basket too. Well, these are like candles. Oh, that's what we can put here. Oh, well, I don't think so. 
You can put one there. Then we have the chocolate one too. Yeah, these two. Chocolate bunnies. Yeah, that was right there. There we go. Here's our Easter display in the kitchen. Maybe I'll put the cat over here. Maybe we'll put it in the guest bedroom for Jackie and Bob. Cute little color. Then the last and final thing is this, which is from the 50s. It's Larry's. And no, he was not born in the 50s. <laughs> he was born in the 60s. Maybe I'll put it right here with my coffee stuff. And then I'll just borrow two eggs from this basket to put in it. Yeah. Boom. Complete. All right, guys. So that is spring slash Easter decorations. Hope you guys enjoyed that and decorating with me. I didn't, that's one thing I didn't do last year was, the year before previously, I did a Halloween home tour and a Christmas home tour and I just never got around to doing it. Last year I was so busy with work at the time and there was a lot going on and I was working six days a week and it was just really overwhelming and really crazy at the time so I didn't get to do that. So if you guys want to see our Halloween home tour this year. I know it's a while away, but those are my favorite holidays and I am ready. I'm already ready, is that bad? So if you guys wanna see a Halloween home tour and a Christmas home tour, let me know in the comments below so we can do that for you guys. Larry last year did the most amazing thing, so I'm kinda of sad that I didn't film it and do that video. You know what I'm talking about? The friends that you put in the living room? I'll surprise you guys this year with what Larry did. Scared the crap out of me for Halloween. Oh my God, I woke up one morning to go to work and I was like, ah, what is that? There's people in the house. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. But yeah guys, so Larry is finishing up. He's gonna get ready and then we're gonna sit down and film this Q&A. Let's actually have a peek. Yeah, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I know I say this all the time. I know a lot of you don't have Instagram and that's totally okay, but if you guys would like to follow me over on Instagram to send in like your votes or questions for like future videos, that's where I do a lot of my future video slash send me your questions and we'll answer them. Yeah, fun times, fun times. So we're about to go through these questions and do a Q&A. Oh, so I meant to film the other day. I have finally joined the iPhone like club. I finally got an iPhone. I know, it's been a while. It's been forever. I've never had one. So this is my first one. I really, really like it. The picture quality, this is the iPhone XR. The picture quality is insane. Like if you have textured skin, she's gonna show that. She shows all your imperfections. Is there a filter for that? Cause, <laughs> no, it's, it's intense, she's intense. But no, the quality is amazing. And I really like it. It's a bit heavy, but I really like it. Oh. Towel sheets are dry. Towel sheets, what? Bed sheets. We're gonna make the bed. Did you guys ever see that girl from, uh, Back in the day, that did that, that did that thing where she. <laughs> it's okay, Lexi. We're fine. We're fine. Anyways. I think I gave myself whiplash.
bed sheet. Check. Fun fact about Lexi, when we put fresh clean bedding on a bed, she loves to go under it and attack it and be one with the fresh sheets. bed is made minus the comforter it's a little ruffled because like see sitting in the middle so I can't get it perfectly straight I have no idea where I got this this is a few years old I I don't even know so I can't tell you guys where it's from but Lexi's loving it are you loving the fresh air she's so cute all right let's go put that comforter in Larry and I just finished filming our Q&A. He's down here. Look at his shirt, guys. He's representing the Browns. It's the Browns. Go Browns. Go Browns. My cup of coffee, which shouldn't be on the floor. Love this mug. It is a Ravenclaw mug. Wise. I'm not a Ravenclaw, though. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually a Gryffindor, not a Ravenclaw, but I liked the mug. I'd like to collect all of them for each house, actually, and I got that at Universal Studios. So, we filmed the Q&A. It was lots of fun. You guys sent in lots of questions. And, um, yeah, we went over a lot of topics that I think you guys really would like to know and are looking forward to, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So yeah, I figured we would kind of like update you guys with Barcroft's updates and everything. currently outside uh, my shirt has changed <laughs> rolling stones because I have to get work done and that shirt is so cute but it, like every time you move your shoulders it like slips up so Larry and I are currently he's inside still but he's coming we are outside enjoying the nice weather there's a lawnmower in the background you guys can probably hear that we are gonna eat lunch and then I need to run to the store and pick up some groceries for our guests and I want to make them our veggie and potato bake. So I'm going to do that. But Larry's lunch, he's having a soup and some bread. I got you a piece of bread to dip it if you wanted to dip it. Thanks. And his grape water. And then I have like, it's kind of like a Mexican bowl. It's leftovers from my parents' house. They made, my dad made dinner. And it has kind of like rice and onion and green pepper and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to eat that with this fresh pico de gallo and yeah so we're gonna eat and then continue on hi guys so today has been such a weird day so hours have gone by what the heck ow i was attached <laughs> um hours have gone by so while larry and i were walmart shopping and getting some groceries and stuff like that my mom called and needed me to take my mom mom to the urgent care she's okay everything's okay no worries but I just got back home and our guests are arriving in like five minutes. So I'll show you guys the bedroom. It's all done. So I'm gonna get ready to prep dinner. This is our little guest bedroom. 
with all the pillows on it and everything. This is items that they're going to be taking with them when they go. And then, yeah, are you warming up the bed for them? And then we just have some cute stuff here. So, guest bedroom complete. And I'm going to really quick, where is the vacuum? You know when you come home and you have stuff to do and you need to hurry up and get it done, but you don't have time to do it? And you're rushing? That's me right now. Um, Larry has been cleaning the pool. It's beautiful. He does a wonderful job. This time of year, we're coming up on our pool season, but this time of year is when all of the trees, we have oak trees, they drop and they lose all their needles and not needles, like pollen, whatever the stuff is. And there's debris all over the pool. So he's been cleaning that. I'm trying to find the vacuum. I don't even know. Hmm. Let's see. I should probably close this. So this is like my little, that shouldn't be there. That's garbage. My little bath bomb area collection and then my little sprays that I leave in here. And then bathroom decor. It's the vacuum though. I think it, that might be where it is. I'm going to turn on some light. For some reason it's so dark in here. Um... No! Has somebody kidnapped the vacuum? <sighs> I can't find the vacuum. Hey babe. Do you know where the vacuum is? In the Harry Potter room. You can go out books and we'll go outside. Alright, vacuum is in the Harry Potter room which I'm excited to do that for you. Sorry, I'm blurry, I'm shiny, I'm a mess. Okay. Ha! Here she is. I see you. This wall, just ignore that. We're peeling off wallpaper and this whole room's gonna be white. Okay. I don't know, guys. I think I'm gonna have to end the vlog here. I'm sorry, it was kind of weird <laughs> and short and scattered but i hope you guys really enjoyed the decorating this morning and all that if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you guys again very soon larry is outside he's been we've been working it's been a working day guys i'm sorry i hope you still like the vlog bye this shirt's gonna be up <laughs> oh fun fact i filmed my very first video <coughs> <coughs> weird. I don't know how I feel about that. And we have some leftover eggs. Well, that's okay. That doesn't look bad, right?